This is the weather forecast video for Saturday, October 8, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a frontal system with some showers and thunderstorms, some of which were severe, over the Plain States and into the western Great Lakes. Across the state, though, we were staying mainly clear and dry. Watch warning map from just before midnight. A tornado watch in effect across Nebraska into Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas. Some winter weather issues over the Rockies and into the into Montana. Otherwise, the nation was quiet. QPF chart precipitation for the next five days through Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock shows the rainfall could be substantial, meaning between about a quarter and three quarters of an inch, except in the far west where it could be over one inch. Let's take a look at the 0Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. today. You're going to see a 588 ridge over the east, the central, central and eastern Great Lakes into the mid-Atlantic with the trough out west. The surface low pressure over about Goodland, Kansas with showers and storms from Nebraska southward into Oklahoma and Texas with a few possibly west of Interstate 35. Sunday looks to be mostly dry across the state except maybe in the Siouxland and anywhere around the Les Hills. Otherwise dry east of there with highs in the 70s to maybe around 80. Monday the frontal system begins to ease into the state ever so slowly with a risk of some showers mainly west of Interstate 35 with highs cooling off into the 70s. Tuesday Best chances of rain will now be east of I-35 with maybe a scattered shower west. Highs dropping back into the low 70s, maybe even a few upper 60s. Wednesday, the rain chance is a bit better with another disturbance moving in. About 20 to 40 or maybe 50% chance with temperatures in the 60s to lower 70s. Thursday, that system moves off into the lakes, maybe a few residual clouds, and maybe a sprinkle or a shower across northeastern Iowa with highs in the lower to middle, maybe upper 60s. Friday, that storm then begins to stall over the Great Lakes with possibilities of maybe a shower across northeastern Iowa with clouds extending back into central Iowa. We head to a week from today, October the 15th, trough over the Eastern Great Lakes and into New England with a new one coming into the Northern Plains and Northern Rockies. At the surface, that system over the Great Lakes begins to move off. New storm system develops. We get into drier air with temperatures in the 60s to lower 70s at that time. We head off into Voodoo October the 19th, a west-east flow across the country with little ripples, including one west of the state and a trough over New England. And at the surface, the little ripple producing some showers, maybe some thunderstorms on the backside of a high pressure over the lakes. So it could get active with the jet stream in the vicinity. And at the end of the forecast, October the 23rd, decent trough over the lakes into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, ridge over the plains, and another trough moving into the Pacific Northwest. And the surface, rain just to the east of the state, New storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest and no signs of any cold air coming south from Canada at this time. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.